So uh, hi, everybody. I'm Yoni Neveau, uh, CEO and co-founder of Simagine. Uh, pleasure being here. Thanks for Wyatt, for David, and Roland, and everyone to uh, invite us over. And without further ado, I will get to my device over here and explain what we do. So Simagine, basically, uh, we provide a markerless augmented reality visualization platform. Visualization platform for retailers and brands. So consumers or anybody who wants to buy something will be able to see the product they want to buy before they buy them. And it has to be done very easily at the click of a button. You guys are familiar with augmented reality, right? I guess some of you. So augmented reality until today was mostly a gimmick. Uh, and even visualization, as we're trying to do, um, people have tried that before as well. Um, mostly, people will always ask before they want to visualize the product to actually put a marker or a target, put something, that, print something, put it on the floor. This is really cumbersome. So you have to, to identify it from half a meter until the software gets it. Now the software recognizes the floor, it recognizes the scale and everything, everything from that marker. We actually, what we try to do is in a way to save marriages. So look at this poor chap on the left over there. So this guy, I think it's me. My wife always asks me, uh, Hey, Yoni, what do you think? Is this the right product? Is it the right color for us? Where should we put the, uh, I don't know, the mixer or whatever? You bear the consequences of your answer. So it's a really tough one. So with Imagine Visualization, there's no need to imagine how thing would be. You could just see that. And, and I think we're active in a very in amazing market, which is augmented reality. Supposedly, is going to be huge uh, just in five years uh, with augmented commerce, which is part of what we're doing. Uh, supposedly going to be the largest segment in augmented reality after the, the devices themselves. So leaders are forming up, are coming up, are showing, and there's still room for more leaders. And I want to talk about some of them. One of them is Shop Direct. Very fortunate to have them as uh, one of our first customers, Shop Direct here in the UK. Um, together, we are really proud to have the largest implementation of augmented reality in the world in retail to date. Thousands of items on our cloud, on our platform, augmented via Imagine. Now, that challenge was basically just like any other retailer. They want to innovate, to differentiate themselves from others. Augmented reality is a great tool for that. Uh, but then to personalize the experience, actually to move the purchase journey to the customer's own homes using AR. At the end of the day, give the confidence to the consumers to actually uh, feel uh, more confident and then actually buy. So I'm going to show you a demo and speak a little bit about Imagine as we go along. So you see here Littlewoods. So Littlewoods, that's the largest brand for Shop Direct. And what we've sold, you see this uh, yellow or orange button over there? That's actually what we sold them. Uh, it's a single line of code. They just put that on the product template, on the product pages. It's there. Uh, and now I'm a consumer. I'm at home. I want to buy. I'm clicking the View at Home button. It fires up this Imagine Viewer, tells me to stand up and go to the place that I want to see the product. So let's assume I'm in, my, I'm in my living room. I'm clicking Start. It scans the room. It identifies the floor, estimates the scale, and there you go. The product appears. And trust me, it looks amazing on my screen. Uh, but I think you'll get a taste of it. So I can still, <laughs> if I had a long enough cable, you can actually see the texture over here. So you can see the quality. It's my hand shaking. So uh, you can see, well, you can actually do a full 360 around the product that isn't here. And you can put it anywhere you like in the scene. And hey, guys. Smile. And then you can actually share the scene. So now I just click share. And now if I'm not, not sure enough, so I can, hey, friends on Facebook, this is how an amazing chair from Shark Direct would look like in the Renaissance Hotel. OK, should I buy it? And, or perhaps I can send it to my wife. And again, the scene is here. And when she opens it in the email, if she downloads this Imagine Viewer, she could still move the product, she could still change the colors, which I didn't do earlier, et cetera. And she can see how it looks like in our own home and go back to live view. So, um, so this is one thing I wanted to show you. And obviously, the most important thing is, if I found what I wanted, that's wonderful. But I can always browse for more products. This one, or this one, or this one, et cetera. I like this one better. Uh, and I can change colors. And I can actually, God forbid, uh, actually buy the button using the shop button over there. And we get a lot of percentage, actually, of people buying. Over 10% are actually clicking that button. If I couldn't find what I wanted, I can go back on, on the top left. I can go back to browse for more products, click Visualize button, View at Home button, go back, et cetera, et cetera. Going back to my presentation, so, so they implemented this, uh, make them 
one of the, I think, the leaders in augmented reality in the world today. Another leader is John Lewis. Again, very proud to have them as our customer. And their challenge was different. They, had, uh, they decided to start with a different thing. Uh, they have limited space at the store. And they've got many items online. So how can they show that at the store? So they've built a very small place here uh, at the store. It, it started in Oxford Street, now it's in Cambridge. Uh, put two iPads and actually partners, the sales associate can actually show um, um, shoppers who couldn't find what they were looking for, all the variety that, that, that appears online uh, at the store in a very small sp place. So it's an endless augmented reality showroom, helps them drive sales. The last one I want to speak about is Coca-Cola, which is not directly related to retail, but it's definitely a uh, great use case for retailers as well. And Coca-Cola, their sales guys, the, the sales team do, do, don't sell Coke, the, the beverage, right? They sell, they try to put uh, vending machines, uh, stands, coolers, etc., in a McDonald's, in a, in a Tesco, etc., cetera, uh, so they can eventually sell more. And it's a visual aspect to their sales. So in order to actually overcome this, so they, uh, they are using us and they give it as a tool to the sales team and you can see there, by the way, on the top right there, that's a virtual item. Okay, it's uh, that, that cooler. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, again, this is how it looks like at the customer premises, just as if it's going to be there. He's here to, make, to actually to make a sale. And this is what they're saying in the official website. 20% uplift in sales. That's Coca-Cola. And uh, that's why we've uh, entered um, a global contract with them now. We're in, in discussions uh, based on the success of the pilots. 92% um, actually conversion rate from customer visits. So very proud uh, to, be, uh, to be part of this. Now, just to sum it up, why we're different in the environment that I have is I think, first of all, we've got a superior user experience and I'd be happy to show you some more demos in the stand that we have over there in, in the next room. But it has, the idea is really we made it markerless, nothing to put on the floor, really easy to use. The product looks good and it's really easy to integrate. This is the secret sauce of the, of the experience. At the end of the day, if you implement that, what you get as a retailer or as a brand, so you automatically personalize the experience, it gives you the social proof because you can share the scenes, et cetera, and at the end of the day, you see more sales and you sell faster. So thank you very much uh, for being here, um, and we're looking for more leaders. Thanks. Thank you very much. Sure. Sorry about our little technical difficulties at the beginning. Oh, Yoni, if you just stay up here, and just for a couple of quick questions. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I think we'll take a couple of quick questions from Chaney and Bindi, but first, I, I'd like to ask, um, can you tell us a bit more about your business model and, mm -hmm. and how the, the company's going to make money? Sure, thanks. So, so company's already making money. Uh, the idea is it's increasing and increasing all the time, but uh, the idea is it's a SaaS model. The idea is that we, there are some set of fees and then there's a monthly fee today based on the number of products that are on our cloud. So it's a monthly fee per, per item. That's it. Very easy. Just monthly, as easy. Okay, per item that per you, item. And you yep. charge that to retailers. Exactly. To okay. retailers and brands. Okay, yeah. And obviously it's free for the, for the consumers yep. or, uh, to, to use and view the products in their own home. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Questions from the judges? Um, competition. Mm -hmm. Just who's out there? Um, why do you think you're better? Okay, cool. So uh, at the end of the day, there are not too many players, but there are some. Uh, like a company that was here, I think, a year ago named Sadak, for example, is one of the direct competitors. They're doing a nice job, and they're building nice catalogs um, that also have augmented reality. What we do, both the philosophy and technology is different. First of all, we don't build a catalog, because we're thinking the customer already has a catalog, either the mobile web or a mobile app or the store itself Whatever asset the retailer or the brand has, we augment that one. We just give this button, or all we need is a trigger to activate Simagine. Very simple to integrate, and it works. We're not building a catalog to replace what the retailer already has. So this is the, the philosophy. On the technology side, as I said, we have a markerless technology. You don't need to put any magazine on the floor or a marker, et cetera. And even though uh, I, I couldn't move around too much, but again, you're welcome to see that, but I can move. If, if you would try, for example, the IKEA application done by, with my Tayo SDK, and you would try to look at the product, you put it over there, you want to see the fabric, it will run away from you. When you walk in the room, the product drifts. So we support markerless technology, very good estimate of the scale. There's no pinching to actually we do a very good estimate of the scale. The product remains anchored to its location, and we okay. do all that 
while scanning the room 60 times per second and overlaying the virtual item 30 times per second, so it would be okay, yeah. very good. Thank you. Just really quick follow-up sure. then. Is the technology protected? Yeah, so basically patent pending, obviously, because we are a young company. There are several patent patents. Cheney, you sure? Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Can I, so can I just ask very quickly, sure. um, can, you, can, you, um, can you tell us how much you're charging retailers, uh, or is that? I think less than what they're going get, to get from it. I think okay. this would be the right answer. Okay. No, but it's, uh, it's, not, it's not millions, okay? But it's not, you know, dimes. But the idea really think, I mean, think of Coca-Cola with 20% uplift in sales uh, and some other results that we see okay. in conversion. Yeah. So it's a very a small portion of uh, what we actually can make it, a very small, very, very modest. Okay, well, thank you very thank much. You very much. Thank you. Great, thank Great you. Day. Thanks for being here.